Welcome to the Missouri National Recreational River. My name is Justin Burke and I'm an interpreter ranger here at the park. Today we are located at the Spirit Mountain Historic Prairie, one of our partner sites of the 59 mile district of the Recreational River, just six miles north of Vermilion, South Dakota. On an extremely hot day in August 1804, Captains Meriwether Lewis and William Clark, along with several members of the Corps of Discovery, hiked nine miles from their camp along the Missouri River to what was known as the Mountain of Little Spirit. It was believed by the Omaha, Ocho, and Yankton Sioux tribes that the area was inhabited by spirits. The spirits were said to be 18 inches high with extremely large heads that could shoot arrows over long distances at anyone who dared venture close to the hill. It was this legend that intrigued Lewis and Clark to visit during their exploration of the Missouri River. After a long, hot trek, the Corps of Discovery made it to the top of the mound, but found no little spirits. However, the men did see what Clark described in his journal as, quote, a most beautiful landscape. Numerous herds of buffalo were seen feeding in various directions. The plain extends without interruption as far as can be seen. In the latter half of the 19th century, homesteaders moved into the area. The area around the Spirit Mound became farm and pasture land. Clark also mentioned during his visit that there were, quote, no woods except on the Missouri points. If all the timber which is on the Whitestone or Vermilion River was on 100 acres, it could not be thickly timbered. However, trees were planted and became numerous as the buffalo and elk herds disappeared. The original scenic prairie landscape was almost gone. Through the dedicated efforts of the Spirit Mound Trust, South Dakota Division of Game, Fish, and Parks, and the National Park Service, Spirit Mound is being restored to its original landscape that Lewis and Clark saw over 200 years ago. Today, the Spirit Mound is one of only a few sites where we know, without a doubt, that Lewis and Clark actually stood. Now I invite you to come walk in the footsteps of Lewis and Clark with a visit to the Spirit Mound Historic Prairie and visit your national park, the Missouri National Recreational River. Thank you.